Hey guys, what's going on? It's Clever Techie, and in this video, we'll learn how to copy files to the remote server, or you could say upload files to the web server. So I've created a new file, and I've also created config.php where we're gonna have our FTP host settings. So let's go ahead and create these FTP host settings right now. I'm gonna have a host, and my host is SiteGround. So I'm gonna enter in my host here. I'm gonna enter FTP user, which is a word. And this is just a specific user that I've created just for this video, for this purpose. And FTP password. So go ahead and enter your FTP host, user, and pass. And then we're gonna include the config.php with a require one statement. And we're also going to be using functions.php because we're going to be using one of the functions, clean scan there, that we've created in the, in the other video. So require once functions.php. And just remember to configure your php.ini if you haven't done so, so that you can uh, include your functions.php without specifying the whole directory. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do here is create a FTP connection with the settings from the config file, host, user, and pass. So we have all that, and now we're ready to create the FTP connection. So let's use the function FTP connect and specify our host, which is FTP host, or we're gonna say die current connect to FTP host. So this is just the error message that we're gonna get if for some reason we aren't able to connect. And then we're gonna log in with FTP login. Let's see, we got an error somewhere. Forgot to close the parentheses. Okay. Okay, so FTP login. We're gonna specify FTP connection first, then user, and pass. And let's also say or die mm, couldn't log in to FTP server. Now for whatever reason, when I used the FTP connection in this way, the file upload didn't work, so I had to set the FTP to passive mode with FTP PASV, FTP passive function. So we're gonna do this here and we're gonna set it to true. Now the file upload will work. Okay, so just uh, do this and it'll all be working fine. All right, now let's go ahead and specify our local directory where we're gonna be uploading the files from and the remote server directory as well. So my local directory is going to be word images here. So it's this directory here and these are the files that I'm gonna be uploading. So it's the word and image that I associate with the particular word just gonna paste it here and then the remote server directory you want to connect to your FTP host via an FTP program I already have um, my FTP program opened here and this is the f this is the directory where I'm gonna be uploading the files web root IMG words so I'm just gonna copy that paste it here all right so now that we have our directories let's go ahead and use a clean scan directory function to first get all the file names from the local directory. And then let's go ahead and print our print out the files. You see that everything is working fine at this point. View this in the browser. And we should have an array, a clean array of um, 
all the files that we're going to be uploading and it looks like I'm haven't entered my login credentials correctly so let's go ahead and see what's going on oh, okay so this is actually word at clever techie should be the username let's do that and gonna test this out again all right so it's connecting to the FTP and I got all the um, file names so we're now ready to loop to create the loop to loop through these files and upload them to the server all right so let's go ahead and create the for loop to loop through the array so here I'm just using the count function to count the array and it's gonna loop through the whole array until it reaches the end which is the 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 size of the array files alright so before uploading the files the first thing we're gonna do is check if the files already exist on the server and for that we're gonna use a FTP endlist function which takes in the resource which is our FTP stream and that is our FTP connection it also takes in the um, directory as a string which is gonna be our remote server directory and then it returns a list of files in a given directory so that is how we're going to check if the files already exist alright so we're gonna say files on server FTP and list our FTP connection which is the resource and the remote server directory which is our directory and then let's go ahead and test this out we're gonna say pre um, print out the files files on server and die to exit the program so it doesn't keep looping just in case alright so there are no files in this directory but it's listing the dot and the double dot which is the standard way of um, uh, listing the file directory and if you don't want these to show up I also created it we uh, created a clean FTP analyst function in the other video so we can go ahead and use that instead of this function since we're including all the functions now if we go back to the browser refresh you can see that it's not listing those um, that dot and a double dot so you can use either of these functions either one will work alright so now we're gonna go ahead and check if um, we have the files already inside the files on server array so that will check if the file already exists so we're gonna say if not in the array files I and files on server So if the file that we're currently looping through, the file name, is not inside of the file server array, then we're gonna go ahead and upload the upload images or files to remote server directory. And to upload, we're gonna use the FTP put function, but let's also use the if statement so we can create the message if uh, the the actual process of uploading the file fails so FTP put which takes in um, FTP connection then our remote server directory remote server dir and the file name which is the file i and then the local directory which is local dir local here and files I and I'm also gonna specify the constant FTP binary since we're uploading in a binary mode because we're uploading images instead of text so 
Let's not forget to close the other parentheses here. Okay, so if this statement returns true, then we want to say successfully uploaded files. Use a VR constant at the end, and if the else if um, the if statement returns false, then we want to say else and say something like there was a problem while uploading loading files i use the vr constant and if the file already exists we're also going to say else and specify the path and the file name I'm just gonna say exists if the file already exists. So this is this statement is gonna return true if if uh, the file is already in the array of the files and servers. So that's how we know that the file or is already in the web server directory. So we're gonna say we're gonna return the message file exists. And that's pretty much it. Let's just go ahead and close the FTP connection down here. And now we're going to test everything. And if everything works out, the files should appear here in this directory. All right. Let's go ahead and going to go ahead and refresh this. All right. Successfully uploaded all the files. Let me view this directory, refresh, and all the files are showing up, so we have successfully uploaded all the image files. Now let's go ahead and run this again, and this time we should have the message that all the files already exist, and in fact they do. So we're all done here, that is how you upload the files to the remote server and the last thing I want to show you guys is how to create a function out of all of this so down here let's go ahead and create a function upload files which is gonna take in FTP connection local directory and a server directory which is the server directory is the remote server directory then go ahead and copy this actually we're gonna go ahead and copy all of this here including the scan deer function and just paste it inside the the function and to make this function even more convenient we want to return the array of the files that are on the server so down here let's go ahead and use our clean FTP endless function FTP connection and server directory so that is gonna get the files that are already on the server so it's the same thing that we did here and then we wanna return files on server so now instead of doing all of this We can just um, let's go ahead and copy this upload files function inside of our functions library. So down here, and now instead of writing all this code, we can just say upload files FTP connection local directory and remote server directory. And then we can also print out the files since the function returns the array of the files that are on the server. So we can say pre r. And let me go ahead and delete all the files here. And now I'm going to go ahead and rerun this to see if the function works. Oops. Cannot. Okay. Cannot redeclare. It's because I forgot to delete this here. We actually don't need this since we're already including 
um, the function in the functions. So this is how clean the code is going to look like. All we need to do is specify the FTP connection, local server di directory, remote server directory, and then we can just use upload files function. And one more thing I forgot to do is um, we have a server dir here, but I'm still using remote, so I'm going to delete the remote here. So now the variable is correct, server directory. All right, so let's go ahead and test this out, see if this works. So this is how clean our code is now. All we specified is a FTP connection, directory, local directory, server directory. And now we should have, if everything works out, we should have the successful messages that the files have been uploaded successfully, as well as the list, uh, the array, which the upload files function returns. And so we got all the successfully uploaded files and the array of files that exists on the server. Let's go ahead and test this or see if the files are here and they are. So now everything works and all we have to do now is use this function, upload files. Don't forget to include it in the functions.php. And that is how you upload files to the remote server. I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Clever Techie out.